Hello, my most amazing artists. How are you today? Today, with my Prima Scholars, we get to talk about one of my favorite artists. His name was Henri Matisse, and this is one of his beautiful paintings. That's the one that you'll see in your packet today. That painting is called The Purple Robe with Anemones. Anemones is a type of flower. Now, the thing I want to focus on today is the idea of pattern. Pattern is something we talk about in art often because it's a way that we can put design into our pictures. So pattern, as you know maybe from math class, is when something is repeated. So you could see a pattern that went with colors like red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue. Or you could have a line of shapes that makes a pattern like square, square, circle, square, square, circle. You could have patterns that have different lines. Like you could have a straight line and then a zigzag line and then a curvy line and then that can repeat straight, zigzag, curvy. So there's lots of different ways that we can use pattern. And in art class, we use it in color, line, and shape often. So today, when we look at Henri Matisse's painting, I want you to notice what are some of the patterns. Now look at the purple robe. Do you see some lines in there? I see a pattern that goes white line, purple space, white line, purple space. And that continues all down her sleeve and across the robe. Now the other cool thing I love about this painting is that almost every section of the painting has a different pattern. So you can see that the wall over here has vertical patterns of red and gold stripes. There's a pattern in this wall that has white curvy lines with blue space. There's a pattern in the vase, there's a pattern in the table, there's a pattern down here, and there's even a different pattern on this side. And my fingernails are messy today, so don't say anything about that, I know. I was doing a project up at the cabin and I was doing tiling and painting and I haven't had time to paint them. Anyway, um, so we are looking at pattern and your job today is going to be to color a picture using patterns, not just solid colors. So if you can imagine if Henri Matisse was painting this in, there are no spaces where he painted a solid color. He used pattern. Now this is in your packet also. This is kind of like a coloring sheet. And this is from a different one of Henri Matisse's paintings called The Goldfish. And I am gonna show you what I mean by coloring in the spaces with patterns instead of solid colors. This is the picture of Matisse's original painting called The Goldfish. And you'll probably notice that there's more detail, of course, in the painting than there is in the coloring page. And um, he did, on this painting, he did color some things in with solid colors, like the leaves are all solid green. We are not going to try to copy this idea. We are going to use patterns to color it in. So it's going to look a little different. But I wanted to show you the original so you know that it came from a painting by Matisse. The other thing I wanted to tell you is that there's a couple fun facts about Henri Matisse that I wanted to share. One fun fact that I read about him was that when he would travel to different places, he would buy scraps of fabric just because he liked the pattern on the fabric. And then when he would go back to his studio and be painting something, he would be inspired by those pieces of fabric and use those designs in his paintings. I'm wondering if some of the designs in the purple robe picture were inspired by scraps of fabric. Remember, you have two choices today. Your first choice is you can take this piece of paper from your packet and use it as a coloring sheet to color patterns in. 
I will show you what that would look like right now. I am going to choose some different color markers. Now you can use any markers you have. You might have the Crayola washable markers. I've got some washable markers from Ikea. So um, whatever markers you have or crayons or even colored pencils would be a great idea. So the first thing I'm gonna do is think about the colors I wanna put in different places. So I want these to kind of look like leaves. So I'm going to color them green. But I'm not gonna just choose, I'm not gonna just have one color green. I'm gonna put a pattern. So the first pattern I'm gonna make is I'm gonna do some lines that go from the tip of the leaf to the base of the leaf. So this is a striped pattern. And in between those green lines, those light green lines, I'm gonna use a dark green marker. So if you have two different colors of green, that might work really great. And in other places, like if you have a dark blue and a light blue, that might be kind of a fun pattern to make. All right, so those are my green leaves. Now there's other leaf spots in here too. These are big leaf shapes also. But I'm gonna change my pattern. I think because this has a curvy shape, I am going to use a curvy line like that. So remember, instead of coloring it all in one color, I want you to think about different patterns you can use to color things in. And you wanna fill in most of the white space, but if you leave a little bit of white space showing, that's okay. Now I'm gonna do the same pattern on some of these other green areas, but I'm going to move on to a different color now to show you what I'm going to do next. So another thing you can do is you can take a light color like yellow and color the whole thing in, but then you can go over it with another color, a darker color, to make a pattern. So this is going to be my goldfish. So I'm gonna use yellow on the back, but then I'm going to do some different patterns with orange. So I'm gonna put um, like a, a sideways V shape on this fish. I'm gonna put polka dots on this fish. So remember, a pattern is anything that's repeating. I'm gonna do some curvy thick lines on that fish. And then on this one, I think I'll do straight lines. Skinnier ones. There, I like those goldfish. Now what about this background where the water is? That might be kind of tricky. So for some patterns, you might wanna just keep it simple. So maybe you wanna just put some light blue, curvy lines here. And then you can do that all the way down. Now you don't have to copy my patterns. You can do your own patterns. And if you wanna leave some of it white in between, that's okay too. All right, now um, don't forget to do the background. Like Matisse on this one, see what he did in the background? He had these different patterns that he made for the wall. So I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna do some curvy lines.
All right, so that's the end of my picture. You can see I didn't color in colors um, solidly. I used lots of different patterns. If you do color something solid, like I colored my fish yellow, remember to put a pattern on top of it. All right, the other option is to take a blank piece of paper and to draw your own picture and add color. So if you were going to do that, then you can draw whatever you want. So for example, maybe I want to draw a big tree. So I'll use black marker to draw that. Have it go off the page a little. Okay, and then maybe I wanna put down here, I wanna put, um, let's see, a pathway that's going by the tree. And then over here, maybe I have a house. Just keep the shapes really simple. Use black to make your coloring sheet. Think about maybe separating your space into different sections. So maybe you wanna put a couple clouds or sun in the sky. Then when it's time to color it, you do the same thing I just showed you with your markers. You're gonna use your markers to make a pattern. So instead of coloring this whole tree, tree trunk brown, I wanna think about a pattern. Now with a tree trunk, I don't think some patterns would look great. I think polka dots might look kind of silly. So I'm gonna make a pattern that kind of reminds me of the wood grain that you can see in pieces of wood where it has these lines and then it has these oval shapes. And so I'm just gonna put a bunch of vertical lines and oval shapes to make it look like a tree. So that's the idea. You're coloring your picture with shapes, lines, and colors that make patterns. I can't wait to see yours.